Tracers. Hello. Hello. You already played, yeah, you just said it. I'm sorry, it's right off. Okay. All right. So in this case, my understanding that he was going to appear in county court, take care of that? He did, Your Honor. We appeared yesterday and the DWI is taken care of. All right. So with that being said, are you all ready to proceed? Yes, sir. All right. Court is calling 2021 CR 6023 State of Texas versus Israel Mancada. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Jason, do your hand, Your Honor. George Schaefer for probation or defendant. All right. And are you Mr. Mancada? Yes, sir. Are you the same Israel Mancada who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2021 CR 6023 for the offense of evading arrest detention with a vehicle on January 10th, 2022 for a period of two years and extended for a period of one year? Is that you? Yes. State? Uh, yes, sir. I believe that it's I think that's correct, Your Honor. He's fled through. Ah, he did. And all we're doing is uh, disposition. All right. You're right. He pled true July 25th, 2024 to violation of condition number one. And since then, we've been waiting for the case to be resolved in county court. All right. So what are the what was the resolution to county court? Judge, I, I can uh, I can speak to that. Yes, uh, we were in the county court number two yesterday. The defendant entered a plea. He was sentenced to a term, and the judgment is satisfied. All right, and just one moment. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Any objection to the court reviewing the court summary? No. All right. So I'm assuming both parties are asking that he be continued. Your Honor, the state is asking that the defendant be continued, that he go to SATA. Uh, and what we have done is this defendant has been attending some AA meetings, correct? Yes, I have uh, four signatures. I'm sorry, how many signatures? Four. So you've attended four meetings? Yes. Since July? Yes. All right. So what I can tell both parties... And I appreciate the fact that you realize that you have an issue, but from reviewing the court summary, you tested positive for cocaine before, and this wasn't your first DWI, according to the, the court summary. Um, Judge, I believe it's the only one that he's been uh, carried okay. forward to okay. conviction. All right. Well, I'll disregard that last DWI then and just focus on the DWI that you pled true, true to. So I have that and I have you testing positive for cocaine. Um, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, you're gonna go into custody today. I'm gonna refer you to felony drug court. Uh, counsel, if you will reach out to felony drug court. Um, I, my, I'm sorry to interrupt, mm -hmm. but um, my wife works overnight and I'm the only one that can watch my son. All right, does she have a grandmother? No, she does not. Oh, is your mom here? Um, no, she's not. She has a MOGAT. It's an autoimmune disease. Okay. And she could only barely see out of one eye. So. All right. So here's the issue. You shouldn't be caring for a child when you have this cocaine issue going on in the DWI. Now, this is what I'm telling you, and I want you to internalize what I'm saying. I'm trying to give you help so that you can be successful on this probation because this is an evading arrest detention with a vehicle. You're looking at potentially 10 years in the prison. And while you're on probation in this court, you picked up a DWI. And I realized DWI, um, the drug use, that's related to addictions. So I'm trying to help you solve that because otherwise you could potentially go to prison for 10 years. And then when you get out, who knows when you get out, 
But when you get out, your child won't remember you. So uh, I'm going to deny the motion, alternate main conditions. I'm going to do a referral to felony drug court and counsel. If you reach out to felony drug court, they'll probably be able to see him. Maybe they'll be able to still see him this week. Probably not, but definitely um, next week. And if you reach out to them and tell them he's very interested in the program and would like to be in the program, I know they have a graduation upcoming, so they'll probably have placement for him. All right, so we're going to do a referral to felony drug court. That's first. If he's not accepted into felony drug court, then we're going to do SATA. And I'm going to uh, also add 120 sober meetings in 120 days. And he's to remain in custody until transfer to felony drug court or SATA. Uh, probation, is there anything else he needs? Is there anything else you need for me to be successful? Um, is there a way I could uh, get like a reset until I have a bed? So you have what? So I get a bed. I'm sorry, what did he say? A bed, Your Honor. He's looking to see if he could report once there's a bed available. No. Okay. All right. And I we can go off the record. Here's the thing. I know this is what you were anticipating, but you have to look at the big picture. And the big picture is your attorney did great work for you because you could be going to prison, right? And you're not. What you're doing is you're going to get treatment so that you can be a better parent to your child. And I'm sorry if there's no one other than your wife to watch your child. I hope she doesn't lose her job. But I that in a household as well. Hmm? So I need to build in a Yeah. But uh, if your attorney is able to get in touch with uh, felony drug court, if you have no objections, I'll send them an email as well to see maybe if they can put him on the list to talk to him today. I would appreciate the court doing that. All right. Let me send an email to see if they're available to do that. All right. If he'll just have a seat in the box and if you'll remain, I'll see if they can send somebody over. Thank you. Jeff. You're welcome. Who's here on Yvette Martinez uh, and Deputy Laura? I'm going to see if somebody can come over to see him today. No, he's in custody, but just keep him. Don't send him. All right. Who's here on uh, Yvette Martinez? All right. We'll come back on that one.